Hi gang! This spinning minion is actually a type of steam engine. You can see the steam coming out of the sides. The minion is actually a soda can with just two holes for the steam to come out and a little water inside. Heating it up is this alcohol stove I made using two more soda cans. This type of steam engine is called Hero's Steam Engine and I have another video all about that. So here I'll focus just on how I made the alcohol stove and minion. To make the alcohol stove I start with these two cans. I first mark each around 1 and 1 8 inches or 3 centimeters up from the bottom. Then I cut those bottoms off and sand the edges to clean them up a bit. I choose one of them to be the burner which the flames will come out of. I make eight holes evenly spaced around the center using a pointed tip tool. Anything similar will do. Most soda can alcohol stoves have small holes all around this edge instead but I want to make sure that my flame is in the middle. Then I attach a drill bit to my drill that matches a small screw and drill a hole in the center. That one will be used for pouring in the alcohol. I also drill another hole near the edge and temporarily plug that one with a screw. That will also help with pouring in the alcohol. Lastly I bend the edges inward all around. Now I can put the two parts together. It takes a lot of effort but with patience I managed to put the one with the holes in it inside the other. An important thing is that where the two cans meet near the top they should both have smooth surfaces in order to get a good seal. Here's one stove I made where that didn't happen and you can see the flame here from the alcohol burning inside. One solution some people use is to put JB Weld or high temperature silicone or other sealant between the two cans when putting them together. After sanding off any branding to make it look nice the alcohol stove is done. I'll make the minion using this soda can. Notice that it hasn't been opened. I push a needle in one side and some soda sprays out. I then empty it into a glass giving it a shake to speed up the process. Once it's practically empty I make a matching hole in the opposite side. I put the needle back in the first hole and pull it down to give the hole a shape that will cause the steam to come out in this direction. I rotate the can and do the same with the other hole. And lastly I put some water in the can but not too much. Now for the real fun. I fashion some arms, legs and feet using some of the leftover metal from the other cans. Since I'll be gluing and painting I sand everything. I mix up some JB Weld epoxy and glue the arms and legs on. I use JB Weld because I know it's able to handle the heat. I picked up some very cheap latex paint from a dollar store and begin painting. Using whatever I have on hand I end up with this finished Minion steam engine. Time to get the Minion spinning. I'll hang it from this lamp since it's adjustable. I attach a tie strap followed by a fishing swivel and then a loop of string. The Minion steam engine is hung by putting the string under the tab. The fuel I'll be burning is a form of alcohol called methyl hydrate available in many hardware stores. I remove the edge screw and fill the can using the center hole. The hole on the edge is for the air to escape at the same time. Once there's a fair amount in I seal the edge hole again with the screw. I put another screw to seal the center hole. Lighting the alcohol lamp takes a little effort. I put some more fuel on top and ignite it. The liquid fuel inside won't be burning directly. Instead I need to heat it up enough so that the fumes from it start coming out the eight small holes. Then I'll burn those fumes. And that's what I'm doing here by repeatedly burning some fuel. That heats up the metal which heats up the fuel inside. I also help it along by heating the metal directly. And after a few minutes there are enough fumes coming out for the holes to light up themselves. I put that under the minion what? and it starts to spin. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel Rimstar Org for more neat videos like this. That includes the one I mentioned all about Hero's steam engine, another about adding real ion propulsion to a Star Trek Enterprise model, and for more things to do with soda cans, one on how to make a Franklin's Bell. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos or give a thumbs up, share with your social media or leave a question or comment below. See you soon.